For 2020, Milwaukee Tool did it again by disrupting the tool industry by announcing and releasing new innovative tools like this M12 Fuel Bandsaw, the new M12 Fuel Oscillating Tool, new impact wrenches, and this new Tower Light Charger. I mean, what more can you ask for? These are some innovative, disruptive offerings. And here's the deal. The offering that I was most geeked out about wasn't a drill, it wasn't an oscillating tool, it wasn't lights, it was something that could help me power other devices as a small business owner and even a YouTube creator. It's here, it's the M18 Tap Off. So this is Milwaukee's M18 Fuel Top Off. It's product number 2846-20. It's a 175 watt power supply. It says it offers faster simultaneous power. So from what I'm seeing here, it says you're able to power a laptop, a box fan, and charge maybe smart devices. It says it's USB-C PD. CPD? Recharge devices faster versus conventional wall chargers at five watts. We're gonna definitely test that out as well as some of these other devices. We're gonna confirm that it actually can do what it says it can do. Then at that point, we're going to confirm whether it can or cannot power some devices beyond its claims. Can some of you say mini fridge? You'll see it has a five year tool warranty. It says, Right here, that with a 12 amp hour battery, you get 12 charges of a smartphone, 4.8 charges of a tablet, 2.7 for a laptop. You'd be able to power a television 280 minutes and run a box fan for 151 minutes. We have specifications, continuous watts, 175 of them. Power sources, any M18 battery. DC output, USB type A port. Five volts at 2.4 amps, 12 watts, or nine volts, 1.67 amps, 15 watts. USB type C PD port, 5, 9, 12, 15 volts at three amps. AC output, 120 volt receptacle, not for use with rotary hammer, sawzall, heated jacket, okay. Mini fridge, <laughs> coffee maker, microwave. Literally all of the questions that you asked. We just happen to have a microwave here. Included in the packaging once you have the top off open, and I, I will tell you this, it's definitely heavier than I thought it would be, are the instructions. You're gonna to wanna to read these from end to end. Just because I'm not doing that on camera right now doesn't mean I haven't done it, number one. Number two, we're gonna test this out of bounds. I am not condoning you testing this in that manner, okay? If you wanna try testing something like a mini fridge or a microwave, if it breaks, it's on you. Don't blame us. I do like the rafter hook. Let's get a 12 amp hour battery plugged on here. Snaps on like any M18 tool. You'll see we have covers for our USB ports. This is a type A, right? So this would be comparable to the port that'd be on your computer, okay? So you'd plug that end. This is the A type. Then we have type C here for faster charging of devices like Google phones, Android phones, pixels. And the great part about having this type C port is that Milwaukee is the only manufacturer to have this port on a portable power supply. You'll see we have some switch gear underneath here to turn our 120 volt port. Wow, it's, it's buzzing. We would turn it on with this switch here. We could turn it off. We also have our USB port switch that will turn it on or off. So when you turn on the 120 volt, Port, you'll see this fan in here kicks on for a short amount of time. Now, how much that will ramp up under use, I don't know. We have a few devices. <laughs> Let's see how the top off does. We have a USB rechargeable flashlight from Milwaukee. We have our USB cord. I believe this is a type A, right? So we'd plug it in here. And then we'd plug it into our device. We have no indicator light lit yet because we need to enable that port. Now I'm curious to see if the fan comes on, if this is under load, so let's see what happens. So you'll see we have a full charge here. I guess that's not much of a test. Let's try something else. An Apple iPhone. Now, 
same thing. We have a type A to a lightning port. And, and I'm kind of curious here. Let's plug in our lightning cord to the top off. And you'll see it's charging. No problem. My question is, it doesn't tell, it just says it's charging. It doesn't say how rapidly it's charging. It says that it can simultaneously power a laptop. Let's plug in. Let's turn on our 120 volt outlet. Funny part is fan came on and it went right off. We have a green indicator right here. You'll see we're at 85% charged on this laptop, but it's telling us that we have 35 minutes until fully charged. So the computer knows that it's in the process of being charged. It's, it's not like the top off is just maintaining the laptop to run it. It's actually charging the battery as we use the laptop. What else can we power at the same time? A very power hungry device is Google's Pixel. Now, here's the great part with Google's Pixel. If you use Pixel with the correct USB type C cable, and this happens to be an awesome one, this will rapidly charge and the device will tell us it's rapidly charging. My question is, while, while top off is topping off the laptop and this Apple device, will it rapidly charge this Pixel or will it just like, you know, slow charge it? I'm, I'm, I want to know. Wow, 92% charging rapidly. So it literally is telling us that it's rapid charging. Even though it's charging a laptop, it's charging another smart device, it's able to rapidly charge our Pixel. What if we were to split this off? Could it power multiple 120 volt devices? For those of you who don't know what this is, it's literally a plug, plugs into our outlet, turns one outlet into three outlets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug our laptop. We're gonna plug in our tri-tap. So now we have three outlets. Let's plug our laptop back in. You'll see our light came up. 30 minutes to recharge. Now, top off says you're able to run a box fan. But, can you run a box fan while you're charging a laptop and two smart smartphones? I don't, I don't know. Even though we're charging all these devices so far, the fan has not kicked on, on the top off, to cool off the circuitry within. Pretty cool. Let's see if it will run the fan or if it will time out. Fan's still not running. You can see, we're still charging rapidly. We have 20 minutes until full on this device. We're at 87% here. We got one more plug to fill. What else can we run with this thing? Will this turn your rigid shop vac into a cordless shop vac? Now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I think with everything else charging, the likelihood of being able to start this five horsepower vacuum cleaner is slim to none. We'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, it's not able, then we'll disconnect all the other devices and we'll see if it can operate this vacuum cleaner. You ready? It was trying. I will let you know that the fan on the top off is running right now. Our battery hasn't budged, literally full. What we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the box fan. We're gonna disconnect the computer. I'm even gonna power off the USB devices. Here's the moment of truth. Wouldn't do it. Five horsepower is too much. I'm wondering if maybe this vacuum cleaner is just seized up and I don't know about it. Maybe the boys didn't tell me. We have a flashing light on the 120 volt outlet. It's letting you know that's pulling too much current. Look, here's the reality. Nobody here expects this to work. But if you're watching this wondering if this will work for you, and you don't know because nobody's tried it, then we feel a little irresponsible. We're gonna plug in our 15 amp skill saw. Okay? Our top off is running. Nothing. Yeah, the package says no microwaves, but you know we're gonna test it out anyway. As you can see it's powered now. It's in operating condition. Let me, let me just show you, like, 
popcorn, for instance, even though we have no popcorn. Clear it off, you can see it's working. We're gonna unplug, unplug the microwave. We're gonna plug it into our top off. We're gonna turn the power on. Fan comes on, fan went off. I will tell you, it looks like it's, it's not timing out, but our clock's not working. Our light's working in there. It's working now. It says we bring good things to life. The top off brings good things to life. What happens when we try to make popcorn when there's no popcorn in there? Wow. So close, but so far away. You need a drill press out in the trailer, but you don't feel like, I don't know, plugging in somewhere remotely or starting a generator. Let's plug in our drill press here. Let's turn the top off on. Hear the fan kick on, fan kicked off. We didn't expect it to work, but we had to try. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like a good back scratch and a fine cup of coffee? It says it can't do it, but theoretically, we're not supposed to be able to scratch our own backs. But because of ingenuity, we are able. Best part is, this is brushless and it'll never need batteries. Here's the deal. I'm not gonna make a pot of coffee now but we want to just see if the burner will come on and if it would operate like normal. We're going to plug in our top off. Our clock came on. Let's hit on. We have over temp here. A belt sander. Just doesn't want to start. But it's not supposed to. It's not rated for that anyway. Here's something that you don't find cordless very often. A biscuit joiner. You win some, you lose some. If you want to see a long-term review of this biscuit joiner, let me know down in the comments section below. And finally, the one item that everyone has absolutely requested by far the most. Z mini fridge. This might be doable. And that is because rated voltage 115 watts, rated current less than a single amp. Let's plug it in. Let's turn on our outlet. Let's kick up the thermostat, see what happens. Thermostat kicked on. So if you're thinking about buying this to power your mini fridge, you're going over the specs, you're doing your calculation in watts, or you have a mini fridge that the watts are listed and it's under the 175 watts that are rated on the top off because of the startup amps. It looks as though it would time out your top off. So with the right expectation, of this top off, you're gonna be able to power all the devices that you need. Smart devices, laptops, look, even a box fan. I mean, this thing's pretty cool, pretty versatile. And if you like that, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. Helps out the channel immensely, and you'll get seven years of good luck. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think of the top off? Are you getting one? Are you not getting one? Does that rule this out because you can't power your biscuit joiner? We wanna know. Leave it all down below. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Yo, you remember when you were a kid? Hello, we'll see you on the next one. What are you gonna pop off with your tap off? Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.